The Bitcoin halving or halvening, depending on your preference, is a pretty big deal. Everyone's talking about it, but what exactly is it? Put simply, the Bitcoin halving is when the mining reward is halved. This happens every time another 210,000 blocks are mined, which takes roughly about four years. To understand how and why the Bitcoin halving happens, we first need to understand how Bitcoin mining works. Fiat currencies like the US dollar are issued by central banks, but there is no central bank issuing Bitcoin. Instead, it's written into the Bitcoin protocol that new Bitcoin are issued as a reward to miners for validating a block. This acts as an incentive for them. A block on the Bitcoin blockchain is a file which stores one megabyte worth of Bitcoin transaction records. Think of it like a page in a ledger book that contains a list of transactions. In the case of Bitcoin, blocks are added to the blockchain through a consensus mechanism called proof of work. In proof of work, miners verify and secure the transactions while competing to add the next block in the chain by using special hardware to solve a complex mathematical problem. This produces a hash, a seemingly random 64 character output. Once the hash is found, the block is closed and cannot be amended. After successfully mining a block, miners are rewarded with newly created Bitcoins. When Bitcoin was first released in 2009, the reward was 50 Bitcoin per block. In 2012, it was reduced to 25 Bitcoin per block. In 2016, it was reduced to 12.5 Bitcoin per block. And in 2020, the block rewards reduced from 12.5 to 6.25 Bitcoin. The fourth halving is expected in 2024, when the rewards will fall to 3.125 new Bitcoin. And on it goes. But why? All this computer power is expensive. The reward needs to be a strong enough incentive for miners so they actually do it. But it also can't be so high that it would cause an oversupply. This would lower the value of Bitcoin. To solve for this, the creator of Bitcoin, Satoshi Nakamoto, ensured that mining would become more difficult over time and that the reward would be reduced to control the supply. That way, Bitcoin can be self-sustaining. So mark your calendars, guys. Anything else you want to know? Drop us a line in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, that's a wrap and that's all from me. Hit me up if you want a job, we have loads of opportunities.